Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, we're going to talk about performance issues with Luminar 4. Now, I will say over the past six months or so that Skylum Software has improved Luminar 4 considerably performance-wise. Um, in the past, when you were moving a specific slider, sometimes it was slow to react. The tools were really slow. Spot removal was slow. That has improved greatly. Now, it's not perfect, I would say, but it's, but it's a lot better. But one thing that is still a bit annoying is that when you switch from image to image, um, everything will be blanked out and you won't be able to work in, on the image for several seconds. Um, well, for instance, I'm on this image now and if I go to just down to the next image, you can see how everything's kind of grayed out and I got to let it kick in. And then once it kicks in, then we could uh, work on it. Now if I go to another one, you'll notice in the bottom left hand corner, it says image processing, image processing, image processing. And when that's done, only and only when that is done, will it allow you to pop over here. And you can see that this one is taking a considerably long time. That was a very high resolution image. Now if we go down, it's the image processing and so on. Now the specific reason for this is because Luminar is unlike an application such as Lightroom or Capture One. With those applications, when you import images into them, those applications create previews. The previews are stored in a specific file on your hard drive. And then when you click on an image, it is reading that preview very quickly and displaying the image. You know, People complain about Lightroom too, that it's still kind of slow, but it's still considerably faster as far as reading that preview and getting it displayed compared to Luminar 4. Luminar 4 is different. As you probably know, you don't really have to import images into Luminar 4, although you can do an import. Typically, you could just navigate to wherever your images are on your hard drive and start working on your images. So Luminar 4 doesn't create previews in the same way like Capture One and or Lightroom do. Now, uh, interestingly, On One was similar to Luminar 4. Several years ago, On One was just the same way. You would It didn't create previews uh, when you imported, because you really didn't import. You just navigate to wherever they are, start working on them, and it would create the preview on, on the fly. Uh, but then On One kind of recognized that that was causing a uh, slowdown and performance issues. So they gave you the ability to catalog a folder. And when you catalog the folder in On One, it created previews just like Lightroom and Capture One do. So that kind of solved that issue and it allowed a uh, much faster workflow in On One. Hopefully, Skylum Software does something similar for Luminar 4 because when you go from image to image, it just takes a long time. This image processing uh, just takes a while. Now, specifically what is happening here is I've kind of read up on this and it's my understanding that when you click on an image, even if that image has been there for a while like this one, it says image processing, um, Luminar 4 is creating a high-res preview right away and then displaying that high-res preview for you to work on. Now, the first time you ever click on an image, what it does is it creates the preview. It creates two things. It creates what's called a binary plist formatted file, plus P-L-I-S-T. So basically, it looks at the image, the raw file that you're importing or the raw file that you just clicked on for the first time and it creates this binary PLIST formatted file. Then from that file it creates the preview. So the first time you ever click on a raw file it will take extra long to load. It keeps that binary PLIST format file but it may not keep the actual JPEG previews that it creates. So as you go through maybe a week later and click on an image, it's got to read that binary PLIST formatted file and create a preview from it every single time. So it takes a while and that's why it's 
like that. Now, again, I do hope Skylum recognizes that this is kind of a bottleneck for many of us who have really large amounts of files and we need to get through them. We need to call them. We need to do whatever we need to do. It could cause a tremendous slowdown. Even like I'm averaging probably 10 seconds an image, that will add up when you have a really large photo shoot. So it could be annoying. So what you could try to do, what you want hopefully is to not dump those JPEGs that it created from those binary plus uh, files. You want it to kind of preserve those JPEGs because at least it will be there. It doesn't have to create it. Now, I don't know specifically if maybe every session it gets rid of your JPEG previews or if they're preserved or what. I really don't know what it does with those JPEG previews. But from it is, it is my understanding that if you go to Luminar Preferences on a Mac, it's under the Luminar 4 menu. On a PC, it's under the Edit menu. And you go to Preferences and you go to Cache maximum or max size for caching if you ca if you have a large enough hard drive it is suggested that you increase this um, so increase that i have a three terabyte hard drive so i think i'm good so i'll i'll increase it all the way up to 100 gigabytes and i guess the thinking is now again i didn't hear this from skylum so i don't know specifically if this is technically true but from what i understand from users is that if you increase that cache uh, size, the maximum cache size, it won't delete old items in the cache as readily or as quickly. Therefore, as you, we'll close that down, as you go through these images, it hopefully won't take as long to do that image processing in the lower left-hand corner and the stuff on the right will become um, active faster. Now, with some applications, I do know that you have to close them down and then reopen them for the cache size readjustment to take effect. I'm not sure if that's true with Luminar, but I would definitely say to try it. Another thing you could try to do if you're having some really odd issues with Luminar 4 is, again, go back to Preferences. And down here where it says Graphics, Use Graphics Processor. Whatever that is switched, just try it the other way. So right now mine is on. Now if I was having some serious problems with the performance of Luminar, uh, try switching it off and see if that helps and vice versa. Uh, just to see if it helps. So again, I hope uh, Skylum recognizes as On1 did. You know, On1 kind of recognized too that this creating previews on the fly was a bottleneck and I'm hoping Skylum recognizes that as well and hopefully in future updates or at the very least future releases of Luminar they actually uh, have it so that the previews are more uh, permanent and uh, could be read quicker and we don't have to be delayed when we click from image to image to image you could see image processing that it's active and then we go to this one image processing and then it's active and by the way every single image I clicked on has been in Luminar for a while and every single image that I clicked on I have edited in Luminar so they're not brand new images these are images that have been in Luminar and several of these like this one I actually did videos using these images so that's it. Hopefully uh, what I said here at least helps you better understand what Luminar is doing and hopefully um, some of those suggestions I gave you about cache size and the graphics processor uh, help you um, have Luminar perform better for you on your system. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>